Hi, thank you very much for clicking on today. Happy Monday. So this is gonna be an affirmation um, based read. So I'm gonna pull an affirmation card. I haven't used these in a while. So not really sure who needs to hear an affirmation, but the most important message will show up for the people who need to hear it. I did start to read y'all, but then I don't know what happened. I just cut it off. But finances was showing up and there was like another card too, like who am I? For some people, you could be doing a lot of reflection. It's like, you know, if you have spent a lot of time in solitude and it's like you have been doing mirror work too. So mirror work could be significant. Shadow work too could be significant because there is a lot of projection going on and it's almost like if you if you um resonate with like doing mirror work or shadow work there could be certain things that you um pretty much um have become comfortable with when it comes towards possibly any type of insecurities that you could have about your physical appearance or something it's like you've made peace with it it's like you knowing that you're not perfect accepting your flaws it's like flaws and all when you look in the mirror you accept your flaws and all even the bad thoughts that you could have too like you know how um like you may have a dark thought every now and then that's okay because i be having them too it's okay though but it doesn't make you overall a bad person it's like you could have a, a dark thought right you could think about doing something, but that doesn't mean that you're going to do it. It's okay. It's like, just let the thoughts pass by. It's it's natural, okay? Because I be having them too. So we just going to, you know, accept it. Um, We're not going to act on it, okay? And we just going to move on, move forward. <laughs> Listen, because um, <laughs> depending on, you know, what's going on or whatever. But I feel like there's like a lot of projection going on. But it's like, don't let that... um. It's like whatever people could be projecting onto you, this could be in a workspace too, because um, the car finances was showing up in work balance. There could be something that's affecting your mental health, could be like a work environment, because that does happen. But it's almost like it kind of makes you look at yourself differently, but don't let that stick onto you. As long as you're comfortable with yourself, when you look in the mirror, that's really all that matters. But then it's like, once you do, um, if you've been doing a lot of mirror work or shadow work, none of that stuff is going to affect you. It's like, you're going to be like, oh no, they like, you know, it's like they feeling some type of way about me. Cause I know that's not me. That's not who I am as a person. So it's like, um, you could have labels put on you too. Let me see what card shows up. What does the collective need to hear? What affirmation are they needing to hear? So letting go came out and it says my body showing up. For some people, you could be letting some things go. Maybe it could be hold, like, um, it could be energetically holding you down to where you may feel this effect on your body, but letting go and it says I choose to be free and will fly towards positive relationships. Words and actions will no longer make me feel lesser than what I truly am. I, a gift to this world I choose to embody light and let go. So from what's showing up here, for some people, you could be making this decision or this choice to break free. Um, that Maya Angelou, uh, Maya Angelou, or Maya Angelou, whatever, um, however you pronounce her name, y'all. I actually had a dream about her. Like I had saw her in a dream. Um, and it was like very vivid. And she was giving like really low, I don't think I ever shared that on here. <laughs> on his channel i think i shared on my other one but this was like a couple of months ago um but she i think it's that um poem or the book it's like the caged bird that sings something about that could be significant for some people because that just came to my mind and i was like oh i did see her in a dream but now she was like in this all black car it looked like it could have been a limousine or like a private type of car and the window was like halfway cracked but it's like i could see her eyes and then we was like, hey, like we was saying hey to her. It was like me and somebody else. I'm like, <laughs> when she was giving like real low key, like just riding by. Okay, um, but nah, I don't know what that was about. But I was like, wow. It, you know what? It was around a time. It was like right before her birthday. And I don't know what that was about. I was like, wow. But um, yeah, something about that book could be significant. The caged bird that sings. But for a lot of people, you could have made some uh, like a decision or a choice to break free from anything that could be holding you back. I feel like this is more so mentally. It's like finally breaking free. It's almost like you may feel like um, it's safer to stay in this cage, but it's like you can't grow. 
um or there could be something that it is that you're wanting to go towards it's like you're being encouraged to, to do so it kind of looks like low-key somebody's breaking free from a relationship but it could be certain type of relationships if it's not positive it's if there's like a lot of manipulation to where it's like you may feel and i don't like that type of energy y'all let me not even read too deep into that but basically it's some type of relationship and it seems like it could be romantic to where the person is controlling it's like they on your body okay look my body this person on your body real bad but it's like in a negative type of way so i'm gonna see what else comes out i'm gonna actually get another card Okay, what else does the collector need to hear? What other affirmation are they needing to hear? So look, action taker came out and we got acceptance showing up here too, but I'm here approved. Something is being approved surrounding this action that you could be about to take. But you know what? It kind of looks like possibly um, someone has been like kind of trapped in their head. A lot of daydreaming and like just using the imagination, but no action. So it's almost like um, that saying um, action speaks louder than words, like seriously. And that's facts. So it's almost like you can sit there and be, it's like you can sit there and talk about what you gonna do, but it's like you ain't did it yet. So it looks like somebody's moving their feet with action taker. And it's like, you're gonna be successful from what's showing up here not really sure, sure someone runs track though because that kind of looked like looked like it too because there is the wings on both sides of the foot because it kind of looks like somebody's like running something about that could be significant too but i'm gonna read this card it says to carry me forth into the life i want to live i will focus on my actions i allow myself to think to plan and to pause However, I will not get stuck in this mindset. To grow and learn, I take external steps to improve my state of being. So yeah, spirit saying like, it's like get on your good foot, even if you got one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it's looking like. And it looks like you're gonna be um, experiencing a victory too with this acceptance card showing up. Even though it don't mention nothing about it, but it just kind of looks like you're being... For some people, you may feel like whatever it is that you're going towards, like you may not be accepted. Like you're not wanted in some type of... It could be like an environment. I don't know what it is, but that's not true. It's like, that's what you're telling yourself. So I'm actually going to clarify this really quick. I'm going to ask about the letting go card. But um, not even trying to be funny, y'all. And um, I don't want to read too, because I know it's something about like a relationship. And I don't want to read into that because that makes me so mad. Like, <laughs> I don't want to read into that. But um, give me some insight on letting go. Give me some insight on letting go for the collective. What is this about? What does letting go mean? Yeah, so it looks like there's going to be some changes. We got the Empress showing up here too at the bottom. So it looks like you could definitely be taking action towards your dreams, giving birth to new ideas too. It's like, it's time for change, but there's a need to know that the wheel is turning in your favor too, because for some people, it's like, maybe you have experienced a lot of rejection. It's like, maybe you, you um like mentally, it's like, you may think that you've been at the bottom of the wheel, but no, it's like, you're really at the top. But I feel like this is more so like a mindset type of thing. That's what it looks like. It's like the wheel is actually turning in your favor. You're on top of the wheel. But there's a need to break free of that mindset thinking that you're at the bottom. Okay, let me see what else comes out. Tell me more about letting go for the collective. Tell me more about letting go for the collective. So yeah, it looks like uh, for some people you could be experiencing a shift, but I feel like there's a movement. There's a need to use your power. It's like um, having that confidence about what it is that you're wanting to manifest. So yeah, heavy like on imagination, vision boards. It's like, you know, it starts in the mind first. So whatever it is that you're doing, you could be speaking things out loud too, like speaking things into existence, but it's like, there needs to be some type of action. I'm talking about like, act like somebody actually moving their body to get what it is that they've been manifesting. So not really sure what that's about for some people. Okay, let me see what else comes out. What else? Tell me more about letting go 
for the collective tell me more about letting go oh for some people i was just about to say too and then look the ten of swords came out i was about to say for some people something is like holding you back whether it be mentally could be energetically could be like a relationship it looks like it's a toxic relationship honestly an unhealthy one for some people and I'm also seeing something in regard. That's why I didn't want to read too much into it because I can feel what it is. And it's like, um, you could be dealing with verbal abuse. It don't have to be actual physical abuse, but um, there is a such thing as emotional abuse. But there's like a lot of mani manipulation going on to where you may even think, because um, I'm surprised the devil card didn't show up, but it's like you think that you're buying, like you think you got to be with this person and you don't. Like you can break free. It's like you don't need that person, especially if they being abusive or um, it's giving like verbal abuse, emotional abuse. I ain't gonna say the other one because I don't know. I ain't trying to get in nobody's business, but it's like you don't deserve that. It's like you're an empress or an emperor. So it looks like you're ending, putting an end to something with this 10 of swords. Give me some more insight on this. Give me some insight on take action for the collective, please. Yeah, there's something going on, y'all, because I was feeling perfectly fine. I'm having a really um, chill Monday or whatever, but it feel like I want to start crying, like for real, for real. And I ain't in no type of abusive relationship with it. So I was like, okay, now. But now I just start feeling sad. That's why I was trying not to read so much into it. But that's what it feels like. It's almost like you may feel like you can't even be your real self surrounding this energy. It's like whatever it is that you're needing to let go of, it's like holding you back. And I feel like it could be affecting someone's mental. It's like you could be unhappy in a situation. It's a lot going on. But um, the Ten of Wands is showing up here. So yeah, it's like there's there's a need to um to release these burdens. It's like it's too much. And it's like, you don't want to wait until you crash out. Like, seriously. Let me see what else comes out. Your intuition could be telling you this too. Definitely trust your intuition surrounding this. Let me see. Um, Someone's sleep could be um disrupted too surrounding this situation. It's like you can't even um get like proper rest too. Let me see. Give me some insight on action taker for the collective, please. Give me some insight on action taker for the collective, please. Yeah, there's a need to take action towards blocking this um this energy with the seven of wands. It's almost like you may um find yourself always having to defend yourself, but it's like whatever these opinions are, whatever this energy is that, that's um attacking you, it's irrelevant. It's like it's really like unnecessary. But it looks like someone's blocking this energy out. Let me see what else comes out. What is this about? What is Action Taker about? Oh, um, for some people, you could be wanting to attempt at a goal. This could be something that you've been thinking about for a minute. But the only thing keeping you back is the mental, like your thoughts. That's the only thing. That, I feel like that's possibly the only thing that's holding somebody back. But um, there's a need to at least try to take action towards um, whatever this is. Because I do see a victory because the Six of Wands was at the bottom. Give me some insight on take action for the collective, please. I mean, action taker. Why am I saying that? Look, we got the four of swords showing up. The five of cups coming out too. And this five of wands was like peeking out. So yeah, there's like a lot of drama, conflict that's going on. We got two fives showing up. So there's change. It's like if you're in this energy with the five of cups, you could be feeling disappointed, sad. Um, and it could be because there's, there's a lot going on energetically. But it looks like that's going to be changing. Something's like disrupting your peace. 
and whatever it is that's disrupting your peace is because there's no peace that that exists like within it could be an environment um just could be with people who like to they could be very um aggressive and honestly it could be people who like to fight like they like to initiate fights and stuff is given that type of energy it's like they like they they thrive in that type of um energy like they could like fighting so try to stay away from that type of stuff y'all um because they like the mindset give me some more insight on this action taker Give me insight on action taker for the collective, please. So three of pentacles showing up. This could be in regards to work and career. Because look, we got the eight of pentacles at the bottom. Three of pentacles showing up here too. Um, surrounding action taker. So whatever this is, when it comes towards like your goals or something that it is surrounding your work and your career, it could be business too. But um, it looks like whatever this is, it's going to be very successful. There's a need to take action towards some type of goal. That's what it looks like. Oh, something in regards to like recognition or put um even like getting on stage for somebody could be significant too. Not really sure what that's about. It could be even putting yourself out there. You could be wanting to like post your work or post yourself on um I don't know. For some people, you could be like almost like in a way sleeping on yourself when it comes towards like putting your Y'all see how car that y'all see how close that car was? I don't know what's going on with people driving today. It's almost like they not I don't know, they can't see or something. Cause a car had pulled out in front of me and I'm like close to it. I'm like, why are they pulling out? And I had to beat my horn. I'm like, what is going on? It's almost like they did not see me. I'm like I was confused. But um when it comes towards work, career, even collaborations could be significant to y'all. But I'ma see what else comes out and I'm gonna go. Give me some insight on action taker for the collective. What's this about? So page of swords coming out. We got the empress showing up here too. So you could be in this empress energy because there was a lot of divine feminine energy coming out yesterday, like for the past two days. And it's showing up again. But we got this page of swords. You could be an empress, right? And with the page of swords, I'm going to clarify real quick. But you can have somebody who's wanting to take action towards you within a situation. But it's like someone's in their head. So it's like somebody wants to come towards an empress. It doesn't have to be romantic. But either way, when it comes towards possibly, um, this could be something that it is that you got going on. It's like whatever you have built for yourself, it looks very abundant. It looks really good. Something about decorating could be significant too. Even like um, the attire as well. But it's like whatever your environment looks like. It's, um, aesthetics could be significant too. But it just looks very abundant. So I'm going to see what else comes out. Actually, I said I was going to clarify the page of swords. Give me some insight on this page of swords for the collective. Give me some insight on this page of swords for the collective. A feminine fire sign could be significant. Aries, Leo, Sag. Give me some insight on this page of swords for the collective. Why did the page of swords clarify action taker? Why the page of swords clarify action taker? So we got the king of cups showing up. A king of cups could be coming towards a, a feminine fire sign. Which, whichever way, I don't know. The roles could be reversed. But with the um, ace of swords coming out, it looks like um, something's coming to an end when it comes towards any type of like um, drama, conflict. It's like the energy is like really weird, but it looks like the divine is clearing this out. So there's some type of clarity, clarity that's coming in. And heavy on communication too. I feel like possibly someone could be in their head about communication. Give me some more insight on this. What else does the collective needs to know about this energy? that showed up for them what else are they need so yeah so this confirmation i'm gonna just go ahead and go after this but yeah eight of swords just like a lot of self-limiting beliefs just in your head all day and it's like you creating this story in your head that's not even true and it's like actually holding you back even more 
and I feel like it's like new thoughts even though it's the eight of swords it's like new thoughts popping up it's just like I don't think I'm good enough but it's like no you are worth it but whatever this situation is it's like someone's just like having negative thoughts about um taking action possibly towards an empress or just taking action towards a goal and I feel like it's in regards to starting over it's like a new a new start so that's what it's looking like but i'm gonna go ahead and go y'all thank you very very much for watching